All right, everybody, uh, welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. And today, what I'd like to try and get done uh, is I'd like to get the rear bumper. Uh, I got to tear it apart uh, and clean it up, uh, paint it, all that kind of stuff. Let's do this. Come on. Okay guys, so this is where it stands. So you can see, it needs a little attention. I hate to put it on the car in the shape that it's in, but uh, so we, we just got some bolts that go around the, so we can take this metal off here on the back side, get that out, we can get that cleaned up, get it painted, all of that, um, get, uh, you know, get these flaps off. Uh, there was some other, there was something else I needed. I don't remember. Uh, we got the light here for the license plate. Um, uh, all in all, it's not in bad shape. I just need to tear it apart, get it cleaned up, and uh, so we can get it ready to go on because uh, there's still plenty to do to it. Anyway, all right, let me get some tools, a little... Uh, penetrating oil and let's see if we can't get this tore apart all right so let's uh i'm gonna get these bolts all the way around this perimeter and see if we can't get the the metal backing uh piece lifted off of here and separate it from the chrome piece and we'll, we'll just take it from there All right, there's one. Let's see, what size is this? 9 16 guys, 9 16 All right. All right. Looks like they're coming off okay. They're complaining, but they're coming off. Okay guys, so I've gone around the whole perimeter and got all of the uh, bolts off. So let me just walk you through this real quick. So you've got your standard body bolt. That was on the bottom, the bottom side. So all along this bottom was uh, your standard body bolts. Then on either side let me see if i can find it you have a carriage bolt with a your basic hex nut and those are on either either end okay just just giving you guys an idea so if somebody's got one tore apart you don't know what goes where i'm just trying to see if i can't help you out so there was uh let me separate these out a little bit there's the other one so there was two of those you got all your hex bolts here and then you got these these crazy little domed uh, nuts on a carriage bolt and that goes along the uh, top side all along the top side and you can see them there so that's what went there all right so that'll give you an idea of what went where everything's right there and now you can See, this comes right off, and then I got uh, the two separated. Now I can work on them individually. I can get this all cleaned up, painted up, protected, and get this chrome cleaned up on the back side. I got plenty to do, guys. Plenty to do. So let me get this. Let me get this separated real quick. Okay. Next thing we're going to do that I've got this separated from the the chrome part of the bumper is there's four bolts here and two over here and that's holding in this piece right here so what I need to do is get those off because uh, this here needs this part here replaced it's you can see it's cracked it's it's, uh, it's in pretty bad shape so I'd like to get that 
Let's go ahead and see if we can't get that off of there right now. All right, let's get this knocked off of here. Okay. Oh, yes. They're just holding on an emblem, but they are tight. on there pretty good. Mm. Well, I'm uh I'm gonna let that sit for a bit, alright? I'm gonna I'm done for the night anyways. So let me just let this sit overnight. Well, uh, <laughs> there's so much dirt in this thing. Oh, well. All right, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this sit, soak it some more. I'm going to let it sit, and maybe I can get these to break loose in the morning. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I've got the uh, bumper set aside, tore apart, and I'm working on this uh, centerpiece with the uh, Thunderbird, I don't know what you want to call it, emblem, and not really an emblem, I guess, but uh, anyways, you can see mine's not in really good shape, so I've got another one, so I need to get this, uh, this plate off, and I've already uh, got one out, these are really, really coming out difficult. Um, they're in there pretty good. So uh, this one here I've got started, so I'm going to go ahead and finish working it out, and then I'll have to get these other two. Um, I've been penetrating, um, soaking them. There, That's not helped. Uh, I heated this one, and that got it to come loose, and I will probably heat these as well so we can you know, get these things off without destroying them. All right. Let me keep going at it. Oh, all right, guys. Got all four. <laughs> and it took lots of ice grips, heat, just a lot of frustration. Got it, though. <laughs> I can say I got it, so let's see what we got underneath here. Okay. Mm, some sort of a rubber backing strip of some sort and a broken Thunderbird emblem so all right so that's all tore apart and is in pretty desperate need of cleaning all right so let's get that cleaned up and uh, I think once we get that clean, I need to get the, uh, this metal backing, uh, for the rear bumper cleaned up and get it treated and, <coughs> excuse me, uh, get it ready to go back together. So, all right, that's, all right, well, that's what we got next. Okay, time to sandblast the uh, 
the backing uh, plate, I don't know what you call it, uh, frame, I guess, backing frame for the uh, bumper. All right. Oh, I hate sandblasting. <laughs> but uh, nobody else is going to do it. N none of you guys have volunteered anyway, so. <laughs> All right, let me get you guys set up and we're going to get this thing cleaned up. Okay, so let me show you where I'm at. I got the uh, back plate for the rear bumper all sandblasted. Came out pretty good. It's my favorite thing, you know, sandblasting. There you go. Give you the runway. <laughs> Looks good. All right, guys, so now uh, I paint it and then I'm ready to put it all together. So. Uh, let's get on to that next. All right, let's do it. Okay, uh, so I've got the, uh, the back plate of the bumper. Uh, of course, you saw it get sandblasted, and so I've just got some primer on it now. Uh, and I'll flip it, get some more primer, and then we'll get a little top coat on it. We can start putting this thing back together. All right, guys, so with this bumper, I've got a... A little dent right here as you can see um, you probably see it a little bit better from this side so my uh, my thinking here is uh, I'm gonna try and I've got already got a welded piece in here that'll hold that from collapsing and I'm gonna I got a socket right here this clamps gonna hold it in which it keeps coming loose but I'll get it again and then we're just gonna try and pull that back down straight We'll see.
Okay, so last time you guys saw, uh, we were straightening out the, the bumper because it had that little pole dent in it. Uh, so we got that straightened out. That came out pretty good. Um, and I put a coat of, uh, coat of primer uh, on the backing plate, the big metal backing plate of the bumper. So let me show you where we're at and we're gonna get this thing completely assembled, all right? All right, so over here, what you can see is all the chrome, all the aluminum. I guess assume that's aluminum, it feels like it. All getting ready to be cleaned and polished up. So you can see here, he's doing a really good job of getting, getting a nice shine on it. Yeah, it looks good. But one of the things we're not doing is we're not trying to make it perfect. So we're not trying to take out all the little dings or, you know, really minor dings or the little scratches, you know, that are in it from the lifetime uh, of this car. We're going to bring some of that history along with it. So um, that was important to me. There's uh, just little areas like that that I want to bring some of that history along. And this is one of those. So we're, we're going to make sure to bring some of that along in this but otherwise everything looks pretty good all of it's in, in pretty good order i don't see any real damage or anything like that other than where we had to bring and straighten out that little dent there everything else looks really really good so let me show you what we got going over here so over here you can see the uh basically the the bumper structure uh has been now painted and it's ready to go uh, we got all of our rubber seal pieces, whatever those do. I assume they, you know, keep something out. They, I guess they protect uh, back here for where the lights and stuff were. That gives them a place to go and keep some of the moisture and dirt from getting in there. Uh, I went with LED uh, tail light lenses. I had to get new ones because, let me show you. Let's just, there you go. You get it up in the light and you can see there's like no red left. Just white dots. <laughs> Not very good for tail lights. So I needed new ones anyway. So it was, you know, I was gonna get LED bulbs, but I thought, well, let's just go this way. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it with these. Um, we got our, our bezels here or our they're uh, in decent shape, but they don't have to be perfect because they're no longer going to be doing the reflecting. That'll just happen here. They just need to be functional. Uh, and then over here, this is the center section. Uh, and you can see that the old one was uh, in pretty bad shape and broke and all that good stuff. So we're going to replace all that. So we got new stuff. So that's where we're at. We're, we're, uh, we're trying to move this right along and uh, we're gonna start assembling this here right now. Let's do it. All right, guys, so let's, uh, let's give this a test. We got it plugged in, not a very good socket. So I'm not sure what we'll do there, but anyways, let's see if it works. Okay, that works. Woo, oh, that's bright. Oh, okay, that's blinding me, but there you go. Brake lights work turn signal okay ah, it looks good guys it looks really good so I'll get that one plugged in and I'll get it tested as well but well, there you go there's your first glimpse at it all right let's uh let's finish getting all that together okay so I've got the uh, license plate light here and we're gonna test that before I get this all covered back up and installed so let's see, let's see what we got here. Okay. Come on. Sure. Oh, come on. Hmm. I should be able to get a ground. Well, 
Come on. Did I have something? Oh, there it is. It works. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna be replacing that bulb with an LED bulb, but uh, I just wanted to make sure the wiring and the uh, uh, you know that thing right there, you know that thing <laughs> um, worked. There we go. All right, so the socket works, wiring's good, bulb's actually good but I would still prefer to change it to an LED bulb and I can do that later. So let me, uh, let me get that installed. All right, guys, we're going to put the license plate light on. Um, this is probably just going to be temporary. Uh, you saw it when I was testing it, it just kind of came on. Uh, I did a little bit more testing and I can manipulate the, the harness and it would come and go. So I'm going to, I'm going to guess that my socket in here is bad. Uh, so this will have to come back out, i.e. to be either replaced or see if I can get in there and just replace that portion. More than likely, I'm going to just replace the whole, the whole thing. But that's for another time. I'm going to go ahead and get it on for now so we can press on with the build. This is easy enough to get to. So it just goes right here. Uh, this is the bottom side of the bumper, which then that will shine down on your license plate. And there's just these two bolts. Pretty simple. When I put this on, this is a new glass um, and a new seal. But that seal comes all, you know, out of shape, so I had to use some RTV to kind of glue it down on there to hold it in place because otherwise there was no holding it in place. So, other than that, that's pretty much how this has gone. It's pretty simple. There you go. Done. Okay, so we're going to take care of this center section that goes uh, right in the center of the bumper. I don't know if you can't really see that very well. Let me pull the bumper out just a little. There you go. And it sets like right in there. So we're going to work on getting this set up so that it can go in there. So we got our new Thunderbird piece that goes in here. I don't know this to be true 100%, but I will find out here shortly. I think this can go either way. So we're just going to put this in, put our rubber backing piece in, and then our cover, which should hold all of it in there. And if you remember from when we tore this apart, these little screws were a tremendous pain in the butt. So I'm hoping these will not be, whoa, easy there. Be terrible going back in. So we're about to find out. They were so hard to get out. One in. It's not all the way tight, but we'll tighten them up here in a second. That one went in. That one went in. It may just be the tightening part that'll be hard. <laughs> and that one went in. All right, well, they all went in. Okay, that one tightened up. That one tightened. This one wants to be a pain. Okay, that tightened up. Oh, that one's tight. Come on. 
There it is. There you go. There's our new, that's a lot flashier than the old one. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's got some bling. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, all right, so that'll go into here. So we got that. All right, so I guess uh, we can bring the backing plate back over here. We can set our chrome on and we can set uh, this in. All right, let me go get it. Okay, let's set this on. And if you're wondering, can you put this on upside down? The answer is no, it doesn't line up. Um, this one here is offset from the center enough and none of, nothing else lines up. So it only goes on one way. I tried. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is the bottom because this is where that little dent was. So I know that license plate lights right there. So uh, we're good. We're set just like we're supposed to be. Okay. So these bolts go in, the other ones go in from underneath and then they're, so if you remember from teardown, let's quiz you guys, how many different types of bolts were holding on this chrome piece? I'll give you, give you a second. Okay. Put your number in the comments. Let's see who, who gets it right. How many different types of bolts are in here? Okay, that's all the time I'm gonna give you. We're gonna go ahead and put the bolts in. As soon as I find the right bolts. Let's see, right, not those, these. All right. Let's figure out how many different bolts that we have. There. There. Okay, there's our little domed one. So there's one. There's our two uh, carriage bolts with the regular nuts. And these are the small carriage bolts with the dome nuts. So there's two of those, and then the rest are your standard body bolts right there. Three. If you guess three, you win. Win what? Win what? My dad wants to know what you win. Um, you win bragging rights. Anyway, guys, um, so these go on the end, so these carriage nuts with the regular nut, they go on the, each end, and these carriage nuts here with the domed, they go on the top side, all along the top, and then these bolts bolt in from underneath on the bottom side. Okay. Now that was the, I, I remembered that, and this has been a long time since I tore this apart. So, you guys just saw it just a few minutes ago, so no excuses, you all should have got it right. Okay, enough of that. I'm gonna go ahead and zip all this together and I'll bring you back when I got it. There's no sense you watch me drive bolts. Well, there we go, guys. Everything's tight. It looks good. And imagine that, it's getting heavier. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to put our Thunderbird on and yes, that can go upside down. So <laughs> we are going to make sure that doesn't happen. So we know where our bottom is. It's pretty obvious where our light is. And uh, so we can, I can set this up and I can start to bolt that in real quick. I'll set you guys down and you guys can watch and tell me if I'm getting it upside down. Okay, so you guys, this is where we're working. The center section is held on with these four body bolts. All right, so this is oriented top and bottom, top, bottom. So you guys make sure that I got this 
incorrectly. Can you guys see it? I, how, did, how did I do? Huh? I can't hear you. Upside down. Well, damn it. You're right. Come on. How's that? That better? All right. Let's get the bolts in it. And four. How's it look? All right. Well, let's tighten it up. All right, let's take a look. All right, guys, how does that look? Does it look straight in there? I can't tell. Hi, hi guys. Um, let me lay it down so I can see better. Well, I'm gonna say this side needs to come down just a little bit. Or this side needs to come up. I guess it could go either way. It is just a little bit off. Okay. I can fix it. Just calm down, I got it, I can fix it. Right. It's pretty loose now. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm just gonna hold it in place. Loosen these bolts. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. All right, let me tighten them up. Take a look at it. There you go. Looks good. And that is as far as we take it until it goes on the car. Because we have to get to where the uh, bolts here bolted to the uh, bumper brackets on both sides. So I can't put the lights or any of that in until we get this in, then we can get our wire fed through and we can put our lights on. So that's all coming. So let's, uh, let's see about getting it on the car because that's the next step is bolting this thing to the car. Okay guys, so we're gonna end up uh, in my favorite place, which is under the car. But you can see here we got uh, the two brackets. Um, these I painted up. Got these done a long time ago. They've been sitting for some time. Uh, but I did have them labeled, which is uh, a very good thing to do because I would have never have known, you know, it would have taken me a long time to figure out what went where. Uh, anyway, so with that, you can see uh, right here, and then there's another one back over here. So these two... These two here basically overlap on top of each other. So. Something like that. All right, let's get this party started, guys. fun can I get a bolt started I'm not really 
sure what I got going there. I think it's the right. It's not started. See? And it is not started. And the rains are starting to starting to come down. Hey, we're started. Okay. Now the other one. Okay, guys. I don't know, did I? I got this right, yeah. Started. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna. Now ah, that ain't started. It fooled me. Okay, now I think it started. Okay, so we're gonna tighten these up, but not very tight. We don't wanna, we wanna be able to move the top side to line them up with the bumper holes. So we're just gonna, well, okay, that one lied to me too. It's not started. This gets really hard to turn. Okay, let's see if it'll go. There it goes, that started. All right. Hey, that's better. that side all right and you can see here right here I want to keep them loose so they can move and I can get them lined up with the holes in, uh, slots in the bumper can you just kind of help balance it until I get guys so you can see what we're doing we're just trying to get these lined up real quick get it in see I got it balancing here he's holding the other end okay I'm gonna come over here and get a couple of these started Okay. okay, guys, so I'm going to 
uh, take my dad home. We got a really crazy storm headed our way. It's going to get really nasty. And I'd like to get him back in the house before that happens. So I'll see you guys in just a minute to finish uh, attaching this bumper. All right, bye. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can hear me okay, but uh, I'm back from taking my dad uh, home. We got him there okay. But it is raining really hard. Uh, and just going to get harder. We're supposed to get about 10 inches today. Um, so we're going to get a lot of rain. So I will talk over it as much as I can um, and I'll walk you through as best I can uh, finishing uh, securing this bumper and then we'll wrap this up okay okay so let me show you where we're at so you can see here I got uh, two bolts in holding it here and same thing here I've got two bolts holding it here so I'm going to go ahead and get the other two on both sides. And we also need to get these bolts in here on both sides. So let me get that and then I will bring you right back. Okay guys, so we need to work on our gap here, and so I, this will need to come up to straighten up that gap, so there we go. So I need to bring this in more like that. get the other side all right guys rain let up just a little bit for a minute so I was working on getting this gap evened up I got it mostly the bolts you know they still need to be tightened up uh, I'm just trying to get it set about where it needs to go but I did come across one problem the uh, <clears throat> There you go, the light right there for the license plate. The electrical, it would have been easier if we would have pushed that electrical through the body. Because um, what I ended up having to do was, well, let me, let me bring down over here. There you go. You can see it right there. Where it's sticking out there a little bit. I had to work it and pull that grommet so it locked in, right? But it was really hard. You can't get to it from the other side. You can barely get to it from underneath here. It was terrible. So for you guys, if you're doing this, uh, as you're bringing that bumper in, you might want to get that electrical connector set into the body as you come on with the bumper. It would certainly make things a little bit easier. And you can see we are 
we're in pretty good shape here. I'm not gonna tighten this any more than it is um, because when I go to put the trunk lid on, uh, this may have to move in, out, up, down to, you know, get lined up appropriately. So I'm about as far as I'm gonna be able to go with this. All right, well, I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, hanging out. Uh, we got, uh, we got a lot done. I mean, we got a lot done. We did good. Uh, so the, the bumper's been tore down, rebuilt, looks really good. And uh, we got it installed on the car. And really all we're waiting on now is to wrap up the back end and get everything to line up. And then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get it from there. So I'll see you guys on the next video.